welcome back to my channel. So I'm back again. I'm back actually doing a really quick makeup tutorial slash first impressions of the new Morphe Jeffrey palette which has recently come out. So I decided to buy this. Obviously I love Jeffree Star's palettes. So I just wanted to see how this palette would differ to actually what he creates, you know, with his own brand and, you know, is that going to be something that, you know, would be completely different or, I don't know, I think I was quite surprised that he'd collaborated with Morphe. I think it's more because the fact that he's created an eyeshadow palette, he has created a few other products and obviously got a brush collection and and there's, there's quite a few in there. I was surprised that he created an eyeshadow palette with Morphe because he has his own brand and he does eyeshadow so well. So I just wanted to see like, how this one matches up in comparison to you know a Jeffree Star Cosmetics palette and obviously I don't think it would be the same anyway but I just wanted to kind of test it out which I've done in this video. I've just created this eye look it's like really simple elegant but it was more of a first impressions and I will obviously create a few additional looks with the colours within this palette you know later on and yeah I haven't done a makeup tutorial in so long, like I forgot what to do, like that's how long it's been. But anyway, this is what the palette looks like, it's very pink, very Jeffree, and I love like this, you know, dual chrome style um, look. It's very, very cool, very different to a normal Morphe palette. It says Morphe x Jeffree on the side, when you open it up, the palette is uber pink. I feel like it's, it looks very much like older Jeffree, like Jeffree's old, like first palettes that he's had um, were very like this poppy pink which I, I, I quite like, like kind of it's very reminiscent. When you open it up you get a mirror so you have 30 shades within this palette. There are um, a variety of um, glitter shades, shimmer shades uh, and matte shades and there's like obviously quite a large collection in there. Um, I am more of a warm tone neutral girl, so obviously that's what I created today, just because that's my comfort zone, and they're the shades I would naturally be drawn towards, so I want them to be amazing. Um, there are quite a, a lot of lovely shades in here, like I love like this like baby pink, um, which is just, it's really, really soft, it looks really subtle, probably wouldn't show up as well maybe on my eyelid because of the shade, it's quite bright. Um, I also love the fact that it's got like, this frosty colour which is, so you've got, um, that pink's called Back. I love Welcome which is like this frosty colour um, which, oh did I even get that? Oh wrong finger. Um, which is just, you know, really poppy. Um, it feels really silky smooth, it's really really lovely. Um, I love My, but My and back look very similar to me i don't know what your thoughts are but they do look really similar to me i love chanel i've been calling it chanel it's called channel um i love channel which is the color that i've actually got in my eye which you'll hear me call it chanel so apologies honest truth which looks like a bit of a pinky peachy shade um which is gorgeous I do really like that shade. I think it's really, really pretty. I think there's just so many like really amazing shades and I cannot wait to really test it out. If you want to find out how I created this look, then keep watching. So the first thing that I'm going to do is actually prime my eyes. I'm just gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I use the shade Medium and I'm literally just going to put that on my lid. I love that this has got a mirror, by the way. It's just a lot easier when you're doing eye makeup that you've got a mirror in your palette rather than having to have something separate. It's just annoying. So, well, I'm just going to do like a really simple summery look because there's just so much to choose from. But I'm just going to go in with a neutral shade. So I'm going to go in with 1985 right here. And I'm just going to use this to prime my eye. Or base my eye, sorry. I'm just going to blend that in. It's quite a neutral shade, it's kind of more my colour, I think. If you've got like lighter skin or darker skin, it will look lovely, I think. But obviously, it's just the same colour as my skin, so it doesn't really do anything for me. I just want a warmer look, and I just want to see what the difference is between this palette and an actual Jeffree Star palette. Because 
maybe they use different pigmentation or use different presses I don't know I don't really understand but um, I just want to see what the difference is so now I'm going to actually go in with Chanel which is this one right here it's a bit more of like an orangey terracotta color and I just like to have something a bit warmer and um, I do find the, pa the palette's just a little bit like you do get a lot of excess that falls off I'm just going to blend this into my crease. I haven't done a makeup tutorial in so long. I actually haven't purchased any palettes in a while, to be fair. This is a really nice colour. It like blends in really well though. Like although you get some like you get excess powder coming off it, which I don't think you get much of that with the actual Jeffree Star palettes. Like I think the quality is a bit softer. Um, it's less powdery I'd say. Um, I love Jeffree Soul palettes so I was really excited that he bought this out because I find that like, the quality of his products is just everything and I think he would be really like serious about how well this product came out because it's his name against it. So yeah I'm just gonna go in with a bit of bronze I think. Just have a bit of bronze really really simple just for my like first play around with this palette. And then I'll try something a bit more exciting. So I'm actually going to go in with Girl, which is this one right here. And this one is like a really nice, like bronzy shade. If you can see, it's quite subtle. Um, I'm just going to use my finger for this because I just want this on my lid. Just to give my eyes a bit more of a pop. really nice bronze it is actually very subtle but I think maybe I'm just going in quite gentle because I don't want it to be too in your face a really subtle like shimmer but it's just like really nice it like, goes on really really well I think I'm just going to use like my smaller brush and um, this is the sorry I've been using spectrum brushes this is the A12 and I've used the B06 and A08 just to apply my other shades. I've been really bad at this tutorial, I'm just awful right now. I'm just going to dip this uh, into Chanel again, which is the first, no, which is the second shade that I use, which is that more orangey terracotta y colour. I'm just going to pop that underneath my lower lashes just to kind of like give it a bit more of a smoky effect which is what I like to do. I'm trying to be quick because Echo's downstairs and she's got a tendency to pull the cushions off the sofas at the moment. And then I'm gonna dip back into Girl, which is obviously that shimmery bronzy shade using the same brush. And I'm just gonna pop that in my inner corner a bit more. Right, like so. I'm just gonna finish the rest of my makeup and then I'll jump back on camera and actually talk you through the palette, the cost, you know, what you get in there, maybe such a few shades that I really like the look of. And yeah, I'll be back on in a moment. So guys, this is the final makeup look. Obviously, I really did like using this palette. I did find that so it was a really quick eye look that I did, so I didn't really try out all of the shades. But the ones I did, I found, obviously, I found it a little bit powdery. There was a little bit of excess that fell off. But I think the coverage is really nice. The colours are really nice. The pigmentation is really good. I think the shades that I use are really subtle and really quite elegant and clean, which I love. It really, like, suits my skin tone. I like that bronzy, like, goddess, golden-y look. Like, it's just a bit more me. But I do feel really excited about using maybe some of the glitter shades next time um, because this is just like interesting. Oh, I put it all over another shade. But like it is quite interesting. You probably have to use either like glitter glue. Oh no, let's have a look. It kind of does come off, but it kind of like sticks. So you maybe there's a certain way that you use it. So I'm interested to test that out. I do like, you know, the goldy shades. I think the palette is amazing and I don't think you can really think that there would ever be, ever be anything different because obviously Jeffrey's put his name on it so it needs to be amazing quality. Um, it's not as good as his palettes, like for me the, the shades aren't as creamy, the pigmentation isn't as strong, like his palettes are like packed full of oomph and just 
really really amazing and this is like really nice but I would always probably just buy a Jeffree Star cosmetics palette over this one for that extra money because I just think that the quality of his shades are just insane and, and this is good like it I think Morphe eyeshadows are always really quite good anyway there's nothing bad to say about this palette so far I'm really intrigued what the other shades look like and I will kind of take a deeper dive into that but I just hope you enjoyed this like first quick impressions and I uh, watch out for more um, eyeshadow looks using this palette so yeah I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and like small review don't forget to like comment subscribe and share with all your friends and i'll see you next time bye